What's up guys, Morabetic1 here, and I want to show you a little something that I found. Uh, this mower is way out of warranty, but had it been caught, you know, three or four years ago when it was new and the customer just kept running it, it he, I guess to the, to the customer it didn't have a runnability issue, but I noticed it, so I tore it down and we're gonna fix it. Let me show you what I found. This, to me, is definitely a manufacturer's error or defect. I haven't seen this, but on one more mower and there have always been on a John Deere. Any other machines? I don't understand why it's not, uh, I'm not seeing more of this. Check this out. Just so you guys can get an idea of the model type and code. There it is right there. It is a twin cylinder Briggs and Stratton engine. When this machine came in, it came in for a new battery, but when I put the new battery in and got it started, I could, I could hear, I could just tell that it was running just a little bit lean on the number one cylinder. And lo and behold, this gasket wasn't compromised. However, I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to show you something that caused this manifold to not seal up against the cylinder head. Check this out. This baffle plate should be like this and not touching the cylinder head mounting area. But check it out. Check this out. Whenever this manifold was bolted on, this plate was sandwiched in between the head and the manifold just ever so slightly. So what was happening was it wasn't allowing the manifold to come into complete, you know, good contact with the cylinder head. As you can tell, look at the dirt tracking. It was actually, it had a vacuum leak right here. You can see the dirt where it's been getting into the engine on the number one cylinder so guys whenever you're doing carburetor jobs or you're doing tune-ups on these and they're not running right you can get them cranked up and just just carefully you don't want to just go overboard but you can spray around these manifolds with a little bit of carb spray or some brake clean and if your engine changes your rpms or the attitude of the engine uh, changes whenever you're trying to find a vacuum leak and that's how I found this one was I sprayed a little bit around there and and, and the engine started choking out because it was sucking in the uh, carb spray rather than uh, you know the itemized fuel coming into the carburetor what you're doing you're actually introducing a outside fuel source and anything that uh, you know has a vacuum leak will suck that raw fuel from your aerosol can in there and you can definitely find some leaks but you just got to be careful when you do that so yeah this will be an easy fix just going to loosen this nut right here or this bolt kind of maybe push this down or maybe you can even bend it just a little bit Yeah, that's good right there. And just retighten your bolt. And it should not be touching anywhere on that cylinder head. Guys, that was a little bit of a uh, weird one. You don't always run into silly little repairs like this, but when you do, give me a thumbs up and let me know if you've ever seen anything crazy like this. Smash that like button and hit that subscribe. And while you're there, click that bell to get all my new videos. Y'all have a good rest of your day. More Medic One.